back to my channel this is your girl mary all the book of life and guess what we're doing today guys we're making fufu you guys have requested me to make a video of uh how to make my fufu okay so but this video i want to dedicate it for the first time out okay this is fufu 101 if you're somebody that never made fufu in your life before watch this video and follow my step this is an easy and quickest way to make your fufu ready and the outstanding the outcome of this fufu is very very outstanding so stay tuned subscribe to this channel and enjoy this video let's make fufu so what you need you need uh, a fufu flower uh, and i've told you guys several times the different kind of fufu this one is the plantain fufu there's yam fufu there's cassava fufu there's a corn fufu so you gotta buy go look for the one that you can lay your hands on uh, but today i'm going to be using a uh, plantain fufu for you so and another thing that you're gonna need you're gonna need this guys you're gonna need one of this i have all different kind but go to walmart this is the one you can find this is the type you can find in walmart so this we do don't use a spoon okay you need something really 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 strong okay so and also make sure that your water is boiling to serve a bowl and let's put some flour in the bowl okay so i'm going to show you guys the easy way to go so get some cold water Get a little cold water in here. Don't turn on your gas. So mix a little bit of this fufu in the cold water. So this is the easiest way. Make sure you mix it in cold water. Just mix a little bit. If you're making this fufu for one person uh, or two person, make sure you just gauge uh, your water so your water is going to determine how many people you're making this fufu for so just stir this and make sure that it's smooth it's easier to stir this flour in a cold water than in a hot water okay so we're going to do it with a cold water first as a base so just mix it up you guys can see what i'm doing so make sure you break all of this Mix it and make sure it's well smoothed out. You guys see that? So smooth it out like that. Just a little one like that. So then the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna get your hot water and put a little bit of hot water in it and keep stirring it. Okay, so we're making fufu for two people, right? So turn on your gas now. And what you need to do, you cannot leave this place. You just keep, keep, just keep staring. Okay. So this is one easy way you can make your fufu. Just keep staring. It's going to be getting thicker. Just make sure you're consistent with this staring. So keep staring. So this is easy for people that just want to try for the first time. So if you want to try fufu for the first time, this is something really that will be easy for you. Uh, there are other ways that you can make your fufu. Uh, like somebody like me, I just have to wait for my water to boil and do it. But a lot of first timer, uh, if you do it that way, you end up having a seed or uh, a lump in your fufu, and you're not gonna enjoy eating that fufu if you have lumps in it. As you guys can see, it's getting thicker, right? So just smoothly, just keep doing that slowly. You know, just gently and slowly. And the reason why you're very consistent with this is because it helps the you know the textures of the fufu because as the fufu start getting uh thicker uh, there's always a possibility of uh, lumps in it okay so you keep going guys if you guys can see then now you have to go faster because it's getting thicker and thicker and thicker so you go faster with it 
go faster with it go faster with it this is gonna come out to be a very good blended fufu okay uh, fufu would be enjoy you can enjoy your fufu if you made it without a seed in it you guys can see it's getting thicker you enjoy your fufu if you don't have a seed in it you really really enjoy it but if you do have a seed in it you know you can feel it in your mouth when you take a bite you know of that fufu so as this fufu become thicker you know it you know require more strength to uh, stir so i used to tell people to just make sure <laughs> you know you got a strong end so just keep going guys so now as you guys can see it's thick now right but we want it more thicker than this you know because this is coming out like um uh, okay, I don't know if you guys know what okay is. Uh, it's a local uh, food in Nigeria. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of flour like that. So put a little bit, just a little bit, and go. You see that? Keep staring. Say it's more than out. Go ahead again and put a little bit until you get the consistency that you want, okay? Keep doing that until you get the consistency that you want. So now, you guys see that? Smooth it. This is a very easy and smooth way to make your fufu. I'm telling you guys, if you're doing this, if you're trying fufu for the first time, please do this. And let's put a little bit more. I don't like my fufu really thick. Guys, I don't like my fufu really thick. Some people like it thicker, but I don't like my really thick. So, so when I'm in the bathroom, I'm not crying to cook. So guys, and I have a technique that I want to show you guys because uh it depends on the kind of fufu that you're making some have too much starch in it the very starchy so when i'm using this uh this uh thing that i'm using to turn it i just cut my hand like this and use the tape to hold one of my hands so i have more strength you know to mix the fufu properly because that's all you need to make this fufu guys i want to show you guys something look how smooth this fufu is look no single lungs of seed in it you guys see that there's no single lungs or seed in this fufu look at that this is beautiful this is beautiful so guys so if you're gonna try fufu for the first time make sure you follow this technique it's very easy and the outcome is always amazing uh, if you're already a professional fufu maker it's okay you can go ahead and allow your water to boil and start mixing your flour but that one there's a lot of risk with that because you can end up having a lot of seed, a lot of lambs in that fufu. But <laughs> if you want to have the most beautiful texture of fufu, you should follow this technique. Your husband is going to praise you. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. Look at Look at how beautiful this fufu comes out. This is it. So for all of you that have been asking me, Mary, please, can you put the video of how to make fufu? Yeah, this is for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, and please, whenever you try to make this fufu, just make sure you come back to my YouTube channel and leave a comment and let me know the outcome of your fufu. 
so if you're somebody that like it more you can turn off your gas now if you're somebody that like it more solid you just keep adding a little bit of flour and stir as you go that's how because when this fufu get colder it's going to be a little bit more thicker right so i don't want i don't always like my fufu really thick i want something that i can easily swallow because this is a swallow food it's nothing that you can bite on the only thing you bite is the meat and the soup okay so and for you to enjoy this fufu you gotta have to make have to have the right soup okay you have to have the right soup so this is the fufu that we use today it's a plantain fufu and this is the outcome this is the outcome of it so you guys thank you guys for giving me this opportunity to do this with you and go try it all of my tiktok family that requested for this try it and leave a comment i love you guys bye